Hey guys, my name is Ryan Tharp. I'm here to talk to you about the 2021 SX240. Let's check it out. The length for this boat is 24 foot, one inch overall. We have 101 inch beam. It has a 75 gallon fuel capacity and it'll draft in 15 inches of water. Now looking at the trailer, it's a Skeeter built all aluminum trailer. We have 14 inch galvanized wheels here with dual disc brakes. And you have the option to upgrade the 14 inch black aluminum wheels as well. I'm here at the bow of the SX240. The SX240 comes standard with no trolling motor. Here we got the uh, optional Tarova 112 on an aluminum slide. You can also upgrade to an old Terra 112. And then next to the trolling motor, we have the uh, pop-up cleat that we can use to tie off our anchor. And this is our anchor storage box. Anchor storage box has a roto-molded anchor box in here. This is removable so you can access and rig anything you may need, including your trolling motor. Now coming back, we have the pop-up cleats on the side, two stainless steel pop-up cleats. And this is our center storage compartment. In this compartment, this is where you're gonna be keeping all your tackle, any life vests, anything else you might have and wanna take for the day. On the port side, we have our rod storage locker. Then over here on the starboard side, we have a fish box, an insulated fish box. Then coming down to the box right in front of the storage compartment, we have a cooler. This is our cooler where you can keep drinks, food, whatever you want to keep. And we have these steps on the side of the front deck to allow easy access to jump up there. And then our stainless steel cup holders here on the side. And then in the middle right here, we have our wet storage compartment. Now let's go to the console. So this is the standard console that comes with the boat. We have an access panel behind here that'll give you access to a shelf and all sorts of storage underneath the console, as well as your batteries, wiring, everything else. Then we have a 14 gallon bait well up here at the front with an acrylic panel with a trim ring around it to keep the water in and the standpipe for the overflow. Now going around to the front of the console, we have four rod holders on each side. Now here at the helm of the SX240, Right here we got our oversized depth finder panel. It'll hold up to a 12 inch depth finder. Right here is what we have pictured with a Simran. We have our lighted switch panel here with our stainless steel cup holders below it. There's plenty of room on this helm for any accessory you might have. This one's showed here with our Bennett trim tabs. We have our accessories panel over here. We have our Yamaha gauges, as well as our jack plate gauge fusion radio. Beneath the helm here we have our storage compartment. This is where we keep our battery switch, our panel for our fuse box, batteries are underneath the shelf. There's a lot of storage inside of here. Coming back here, we have our deluxe leaning post. These seats are adjustable, so you can sit or stand, whichever one's comfortable for you. We also have an option for a leaning post bait well here as well. Now wrapping up the console area of this SX240, this boat here is shown with the optional deluxe T-top. We also have several other options available as well. Now let's go back here and take a look at the rear deck. All right guys, now here at the rear of the deck, we have an optional washdown system here. We have our scupper drains here in the corner, and then we also have a stepped up area and a cup holder here as well. Then we have our flip up jump seats back here, and then underneath the jump seat, we have a wet storage area. Then coming over here to the center, we have a 40 gallon live well in the back. And then behind the live well and jump seats, we have our rear storage compartments. They have a deep storage compartment on either side. You can get plenty of things down in there, whatever you want. And then to finish off the rear deck, we have a large bilge access area for any rigging you may need to do. All right, now here at the transom of this SX240, you'll see that this boat here is equipped with a Omni swim platform. You can also opt for a Skeeter fiberglass swim platform. Beneath this, we have our Bennett trim tabs, which are also an option. And then you have an option for a single 10-foot blade or an 8-foot blade. And you can also get an option for a dual power pole blade as well. The power pole blade's connected to our 12-inch hydraulic jack plate, which is also an option. And then to top it all off, we have this Yamaha F300 motor. It's reliable, powerful. This is what's gonna get us to wherever we need to go. So that wraps up our walkthrough for our 2021 Skeeter SX240. For more information, you can go to skeeterboats.com or you can go to your local dealer and check one out in person.